There you guys are. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Look at this. I'm assuming got scrapped here. Oh, we can pick it up. I'm saying there's no cup holders. We're springing a gnarly leak right now. Under the city lights, wherever the wind gon' take us. If it's good, we make it contagious. Said we vibing, laying on black sand beaches, thinking of what life teaches. So glad it's going in the deepest. Said we vibing. <laughs> What's up everybody? Good morning. Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. Recently I've been looking up, well we have a little John boat that I borrowed from our friend Bob. Uh, but I want to give that back to him eventually. So I've been looking up John boats and I wanted one a little bit bigger than that so maybe two people can go out on it. So yesterday I was looking on Facebook, found the perfect boat for just $200. So I reached out to the people. We went and picked it up. It was actually at a scrap yard. Check this out. All right, let's see where my boat is, right? Where's my boat? I'm thinking it's like off to the side, but wow, these people make crazy stuff here. Wow, that's so cool. All right, so I'm about to buy a boat, a little John boat, which I'm assuming got scrapped here because we are at a scrapyard. Look at this chain though. This guy has unlimited amount of storage for hoarding too. What's the bean down? <laughs> well, our body's a little cold, so. <laughs> wow, we're getting the whole tour back here. Oh wow, it's nice and big. That blue one? It's almost too big. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. We haven't tried to come in yet. It did have a ton of water in it up until. Oh, uh, we could pick it up, like to just put it in the truck, or should I back, back up a little? I think it's, um, it it's pretty light. Too heavy. All right. Here you go. That should be 200. Awesome. You can Thanks, count man. it if you want. Yeah, let me do it quick. Yeah. Here she is. This is the dream, this boat. All right. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. You guys it. need anything else? Come by anytime. Oh, hell yeah. You got a lot here. Yeah. This guy's living it. You want to sit? Yeah. This is like the step up version of the one we already had. <laughs> Wait, you can actually use this, right? Legit, yeah. Even with the it's big, right? All right, we gotta get out of the way, right? So we ended up purchasing the boat, and it is a beauty. All right, we're springing a gnarly leak right now. Oh my gosh. Check this thing out. So my, our friend Paul was over here yesterday, and he saw it in the back of the truck, and he was making a comment about taking it out, so I was like, yeah, let's take it out right now. But we decided it better to just go the next morning. So this is the next morning, and we are about to test out the new boat for the first time. Hey, how are you? Coffee before claims. Now we're ready. Good morning. Good morning, you got out of there okay? Yeah. All right. There's a little area where some local legend put like a, kind of like a boat dock. Nice. So I just threw it all there. Okay. And then I'll just walk down and check it out. All right. Is it creepy down here? You're making it creepy. I guess life is fleeting, I guess is the term. Like it, it goes so fast and you don't realize how quick until 
you look back on it. But I will say, going out on a John boat in the water, in the bay, you know, not very exciting. But for me, it's a dream come true. Going out with one of my best friends, you know, one of my childhood best friends, Paul, cruising around in the back bays right in the same town that I live in. It's a dream come true. I don't know, little tiny adventures like this or little things that I do in my life that I put into my life really do make my life a lot better. Maybe you just need it for the peace of mind. That's the thing. Because like, even if we flip the boat, because I knew we were going to tip five minutes in and just went back home, it would still be something that would be talked about for the rest of the day, be thought about for the rest of the day. It's just something to spice up your life, you know? This is so cool down here. My uh, plan is to make it across to the other side, honestly. Too buggy down here for you? It's pretty buggy. That's why we gotta get out on the open water you here. Yeah, get on the water. Are you a professional boating guy? No, no. This looks rotten. <laughs> Good thing we got you for the test, right? That looks rough. We'll take it out over there across to the Tuckahoe Inn. I thought we were going up to the creek. Yeah, we can do that. That might be funner anyway. Up to you, Captain. <laughs> if it's coming, to, if it's like rushing down, it's not going to be fun though. No, it's. it's the we tide can going check out. it out though. I don't know. Let's see what the tide's doing. I'm saying there's no cup holders. <laughs> You're lucky it has anything. <laughs> I, the only thing is like expected. All right, we're springing a gnarly leak right now. Oh my gosh. Over there there's a leak too or no? No, it's just, just in the back. Down. All right. Professional ding repair. Looks great. What do you think? We'll see. Only one way to tell. For on a real note though, you had a little bit less less faith than this in the in how good this boat is, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. What do you mean? I don't know if you've increased my faith in it yet. I don't I think so with the duct tape. Oh. Looks great. <laughs> Wait till we're out in this island. Look how far we already went. Oh my god. I'm about to switch to this bench. This is the gnarliest expedition known to man. Literally. <laughs> wow. Are you switching benches? I want to I think I'm going to switch to this guy. All right. Cuz I think the front's a little low now, isn't it? It depends. Or it's, it's deeper than that. It's, uh, so it's like a few feet under the boat still, right? At least. Because this is it right now. You guys can see how epic this really is. So we just went all the way. It's hard to even see, but over where that like radio tower thing is, basically, we launched from there. We've been out on the sea for like, on the bay for like eight minutes. Not even, probably. And we're already this far. The only thing is, we don't want this guy's weight coming near us. Cruise by the Tuckahoe, check it out. You think we can? Yeah. In the anchorage over there, see who's home in their boats. Check out the power plant a little. If we can get there. I need a little stick to come out more. This is majestic as fuck. Code. You just had to be real careful when you move around. Cause like, real easy to get Cause like I've been standing up on one of these and just if you get lose your balance, you're screwed. Oh my god. 
dude. Oh my god, bro. At least I got my wallet and the keys. Fuck, it might be in here. The lighter was. That was so fucking gnarly, dude. We just totally capsized and lost everything. <laughs> so that was up. so gnarly. You know what's crazy, to I had the drone in the bag, right? This morning and I took it out. And I was like, I was like, this is not happening today. Like I'm not losing another drone. Cause I knew we were gonna fucking tip. Holy shit, we're in the middle of nowhere. I got too cocky. <laughs> not really, dude. I got a little too cocky. You lost balance, dude. That's it. I know, but I thought I was okay. You might need to go back this way. I was trying to go that way. Yeah, if you can, but I need to look for this other uh, battery. Thanks. How do we get this water out of this place? <laughs> Back and forth sideways, you rock it. We're just flipping over completely. Right? And then lift it up. And then flip it back over. The only problem is, we gotta just I got all this first. shit. No, just leave it in and let's just drag this thing to land. Can we make it there though? Surprisingly, well, he lost his sandals. No cap on that. And the oars are gone somehow, but we got everything else. Surprisingly, I found my phone in the bottom of the bay after it was missing for like five minutes. That, I don't get. Still works, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about us like just picking it up at that place? Okay. That would be sick. I mean, if you would be willing to do that. On the, on the bay. <laughs> we thought we gotta break the seal of this somehow. Your side. Like this? Yeah. That would say drag it up. Yeah. First. Did you have a hole in it or you flipped it? Yeah, we just straight up flipped it. Ah. Uh, it does have a hole though, but that wasn't the problem. Yeah. Second boat of the day. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, you know. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. <laughs> Push it. Oh, he's he's got, got it. He's got it. Alright, this guy rescued us. After capsizing, he's going to take us to this dock over here and then we'll just pick up the boat with the truck. It was warm as shit. The water's like 65 back here. It's not bad. It, I mean, after bringing it all the way in from there, I was sweating in there. <laughs> I mean, with these babies, I didn't even feel the mud. <laughs> with these boots, you were just in it the whole time, right? 
casualties of the day. Yeah, I flipped the skier too out here and it was all straight to the mud. Right. Mud, the whole Did you just want to launch up the, uh, up the street or something? Over by the park over there. Did you just see us out there and want to get some? Get some videos for the qualified captain. Yeah. Oh, you rent jet skis out of here? Uh, so we have slips here. So uh, this dude with the heavy hookup. He did it. Thanks to the boy. All right, thank you, dude. He just totally hooked it up. Not only did he save us from the water, he drove me back to my truck because we were so far away from the truck. So, not a very successful mission. Honestly, it was 90% successful. And then it was 10% capsized. <laughs> Completely overturned and almost died out there. That's not true, but. It was absolutely gnarly. The rescue was on point. Shout outs to Andrew from All Action Water Sports for being the man and coming and, and uh, helping us out. It was kind of nice that he was like following us while we were walking it back because then, you know, at least we're not going to get hit. And then he uh, helped us get it on his boat and brought it back to the marina. And then he drove Tuck back to get the truck. All Action Water Sports is. Uh, they're the goats. They have a marina here in Summers Point, and they do jet ski rentals in Ocean City. He said, "So don't just uh, don't just wing it on a $200 scrapyard boat and capsize it. Go like rent a jet ski from a real place." For real. But honestly, that's how it goes. You, I just keep thinking you win some, you lose some. You not you don't like you got to take a chance on on some things. That was definitely chalked up as a loss. <laughs> That's how it goes, now we know. Don't get up in the boat. No. When you're cruising, just don't. <laughs> we capsized the boat, we flipped it fully over in the water. What? In the middle of the bay. What? We completely capsized the boat, it dumped us and everything out into the water. <laughs> The motor was the motor was still spinning and the propeller was still going and around in the water. Wait, did you guys get it on film? <laughs> no. What? You didn't get this on film? We didn't get the shot, but obviously unintentionally we flipped over in the boat. First test of the scrapyard pickup. And honestly it's because we sprung a leak that we did that I didn't fix before we went out and then we just duct taped it literally in the beginning but then when Paul transferred seats it started leaking again and then he tried to transfer back and the whole thing just <laughs> I can't even really be mad because I'm totally fine. Yeah, it sucked that I, we flipped over and I may have lost my wallet if it's not in my backpack. And that's gonna be a pain in the ass, but other than that, can't even really be mad. It was honestly fun. So now, even though today it's been insane, capsized the boat, bird in the garage, We're gonna go check out the Summers Point Beach, see how the water feels, because it was feeling really warm earlier, but that could have just been adrenaline from losing everything and swimming around in the bay trying to find my phone for eight minutes, desperately looking for all my stuff. Uh, it's really hot out, and we're gonna go see. We're gonna go take a cruise. Here's our little beach paradise down here. The actual SP beach was too crowded, but we got this spot. Are we gonna let her free range it? All right. We're eating sharp 
shells. We can't be doing that. Don't let her get that. Don't. Don't Finley. start, Finley. We're gonna shut down the beach. Do that. You gotta stand all over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Want to eat that? You know what that is, right? That's even. <laughs> She's chewing on the GoPro. This girl, this girl is wild, but she's free ranging it. Once you came, slither back into the ocean. <laughs> Look at how happy she is. Like a baby turtle. She loves his necklaces. All kids do. The way her hair is blowing though. What a day, what a day. Oh my gosh. Say that again. What an end to the day. Because me and Finn didn't have to go through any of that. Bullshit. What does she like about it? little bonus section here for you guys so that's the beach right there we're in Strathmere New Jersey and there is this little restaurant called Sydney's they're only open basically this time of year through the summer and we were here when Finn was in Sammy's belly look at this place you can just drink your coffee and eat your sandwich right outside you can pick her up right Get in there, you need another picker up. I got it. All right, you got this. You got this. Check this out. This is it. This is the spot. It smells good in there. Turtle, Strathmere, New Jersey. Wow, real nice sweatshirts. First time here out of the belly. First time out of the belly. Where's Bean? She's sitting across the table. Bean Bean, Bean Stock. First time crewing it. <laughs> you got your kids meal? She got it. Eggs and toast. What'd you get? I got avocado toast. Same thing I got the last time we were here. No. And then I got an egg and cheese on a, what do they call that thing? Bokey bread? Whatever this guy's eating out there. Biaki. I'll show you guys when I get it. Got here at the perfect time. We did get here at the perfect time. Let me get this shot. Before, before all the locals get here. There is no local. There is no locals in this town. <laughs> and here it is. Egg and cheese. Let's see. Uh, the best. So good, honestly. That's the avocado toast, and that's the kids' meal. As you guys know, we suffered one of the biggest blows to our John Boat career, which was very short-lived. We were having the time of our lives out there. Well, we should have known better, because look at this. So what happened was, we got down there, and there's all these little holes from whoever put this wood on here. It was never attached properly. So we started to spring a leak from here. And Paul was sitting in the front of the boat here. So at a certain point, he transferred to the middle and it started leaking again. So as to stop the leak, I told him to get back in the front. So he stood up on the boat to get from here to there and the entire boat capsized. Well, that battery's probably bad now, although I got that for free. I lost my hat, sunglasses, Paul's flip-flops, all to Davy Jones's locker, um, my wallet, and my phone is not turning on even though it's supposed to be waterproof. 
may have broken my phone. I've learned a lot from this, from that experience. And the biggest, most important thing I learned was don't bring anything electronic of value on the freaking boat. So what I want to do actually is fix this before I even take it back out again. So that's going to be my plan for the next, uh, next couple days. I don't know if I'll do it all today because I got some other stuff to do, but look how rotten this wood was. So buying a, a boat from the scrap yard, make sure you got it sealed properly. Get it up over the curb like this. It actually rolls pretty good on this thing. It actually rolls really good on this thing. So this is actually the perfect size boat for what I need, honestly. This could be from the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. I have no idea. This, this metal boats like this do last forever. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this. This was added. Get rid of this whole piece, right? Clean it up a little bit. Get all the dirt and everything out of the bottom. And then I'm going to use that. Get all this, get rid of those. They're not doing anything. Screw it all together. And then I just got caulk, like Gorilla Glue caulk that it says it can be used for metal. And I'm gonna use that to try to fix all the holes. And really what I'm gonna do is put the Flex Seal tape on it first on the inside and then caulk it through. We'll probably screw it actually. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. This is the job that this tool has been waiting its entire existence. This is what it was born to do. It did it successfully. Ow! All the ideas so far kind of failed. I wanted to use plastic and fill it in all the way, but I don't have enough. So we're thinking about just covering the holes like that, one side, one side, putting that piece in here to give support for the engine. But we have the consulting, he's just ruining my whole yard. Dude, no he didn't do that. Dude. Yo, why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Dude, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that to my beautiful yard? No, you didn't, dude. No, you did not. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. <laughs> no way. Show up, blow up. <laughs> Dude, absolutely. No, he didn't. Show up and destroy your shit. We got the consultant on this job. Look at all his tools there. This guy knows what he's doing. Dude, chill. I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Just do my yard like that. Stop. <laughs> this is the nicest uh, clamps I've seen you have on. Two of the same. Switch the parking and just go handicap. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Because right. I'm kind of like a handicapped boater anyway. When you got Paul on there, you're 100% handicapped. <laughs> so realistically, this this guy just showed up. I didn't even know he was around here. And this is gonna be a totally different fix, but this guy's uh, operation than mine. So, good thing I have legendary friends when it comes down to it. Look, the caulk exploded at the side. Trust this process. It's actually a really good good process. But he was just putting his hands all in the silicone like I say I just think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's swaggy, dude. It is swaggy. What are these little buggy things dropping from the tree though? They're like little and orange. Okay. Can you guys see you would never be able to see it, but they're really small. And they're orange. See, they're dropping on you too. What are they? 
I have no idea. You guys don't feel them biting you? You think I worry about this? I was just rubbing my hands around and cock. That's wild. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever do that. I, I do that shit every day. Would have yeah. given you a blue glove. I, I do that every, almost every time I use caulk, I use my fingers. I don't use gloves or anything. Layer one, flex seal tape. Layer two, Silicon Valley. Oh yeah. I mean, really, that might be enough. Still kind of, no, it's dry fully. Dry pools. Well, it definitely is a nice connection right there. This is looking perfect, boys. Only one way to figure it out. Let's put her in. <laughs> sure, though. The last thing that I'm going to do really here today is put the Gorilla caulk, basically. It says it goes on metal. All around each side. I don't know about that. That just looks a little crazy. And on the inside as well. And it should be airtight. This is actually a pretty good fix, considering. And everything, well, I bought this. I bought this and I bought the flex tape. Other than that, everything else was already something we had. Or T-Board showed up and had. Okay, so the final touch for the boat repair before the relaunch. I added this piece of wood right here, right? Were this size, the ones that T-Word gave us. The next bolts. So I added this piece at the suggestion of T-Board as well. Because he actually did this really nicely and very quick too. I got longer bolts and I actually got them, these are stainless steel too, so they're actually more than enough to go through everything. So that was the solution I used. I'm gonna use a drill and let's see. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the move right here. I might add this piece of wood just for the extra support. Little pressure treated piece. The beanstalk just woke up from a nap. So she's about, haven't been doing really any updates on the bean. I mean, we have sparingly, but she's about 10 months old now, a little over 10 months. And it's been the craziest, most amazing, difficult transition, just the best 10 months ever. Let me put you down, hold on. I'll sit with you. Me personally, so it's, it goes quick, but me personally, grown so much as a person for myself, for my family, than I ever thought possible. <laughs> And literally just just preoccupying my time with just trying to make a living, but at the same time spend every day, every minute with Finlay when she's young. And me and Sammy always had a really good relationship in that way where we would always have spent a lot of time together, so that was never a problem. And so far, I've been able to be with Bean. Stop, Bean. Literally every single day, except I think one day when I was away in Virginia. And then coming up, I'm gonna go away for like, maybe two days one night but that would be the second time only but yeah i think the reason that i've been so preoccupied with stuff like this boat is because it allows me to make cool content work on projects but also still be present and be here with finley when she's so young but it will just be part of who she becomes knowing that both of her parents are always present is really important to me and hopefully to you but yeah i just i don't think anybody who doesn't have kids could ever imagine how much it changes you how much it changes what you care about because everything that i thought was important well not everything but most of the things that i thought were important basically are just meaningless as soon as you have a kid pretty crazy not that you should forget about the things that drive you or had importance in your life i was just a lot preoccupied with like the next adventure or the next great video or the next big views or oh let's try and you know get famous on youtube and 
have a million subscribers which yeah that would be great but honestly the main priority is just always being now from now on so it's like all that is cool and all but it definitely takes us a back seat all right i'll put you in the jumper go ahead jump it up girl i was thinking too it's gonna be so sad when she doesn't oh don't step on that that probably hurt your feet when she doesn't have this when she doesn't care about the jumper roo anymore because this was her command station i think maybe i should put it up on on level three though so it's a little higher because she's big now but check this out this is unbelievable so fell in the bay right this battery it was under the water for 15 minutes this was in the water in the bay just on with the battery going around and around and check this out fully fully works both the Minn Kota and the interstate battery did not get ruined from the the water so I'm ready for uh, the real maiden voyage. We are on it. Okay, here we are. Total redemption. Back out here. Same boat, same motor, same battery. This thing's been dripping water all since we went in the first time and it's still work today i'm going to be bringing you guys with me to go explore this abandoned barge that's been sitting out here for a long time so check this out where these people are fishing right there's a white truck over there and a couple other vehicles and this used to be the route 9 parkway bridge and it went from summer's point see where the rocks are but it went all the way over to beasley's point um, eventually they took it down because it was like not being used and it was dilapidated. I think even back in the day they had a movie that was filmed over here and someone drove a car off the bridge, I remember. That being one of the scenes. I forget what the movie's called, but... Do you ever wonder what it might have been like if he was still around? I used to wonder. And I'm going to go check out the remains of the bridge. So the guy that was standing over there, he had like a crab trap in the bag and he saw the boat and everything and he was like, that's how me and my dad used to go fishing when I was a kid. This is pretty crazy. This is like an abandoned island basically. Because other than the actual parkway going across this piece of land, there's nothing on it. Land ho actually. Land freaking ho. Let's check this out. We are here. Check that out. So we didn't go very far, but this is super cool. Check this out, all the twisted metal. The rebar from the bridge that used to be here. See these? Gnarly. He tried to plant trees here, it looks like, to stop the erosion of the island. I guess the stones and rocks and all this stuff is pretty good at doing that too. This island is actually pretty incredible. You can still see the old railroad ties from where the road used to be. Someone's couch cushion there. And there's just debris everywhere. So much wood you could build a freaking house. What is this? Piece of plastic. What is this sign? Looks like it has writing on it. Maybe 8055 something. This is a legit island. You could camp on here. Captain Jack Sparrow is down here drinking rum. That's been here for a while. Look at this. Look at these wildflowers. Just growing out here. All right. What's this? It's a bizarre thing. That's just such a weird thing. What is this here for? Somebody put these here some, for some reason. Metal spikes in the ground. That are here for who knows why. No idea. Molten asphalt. 
And then we got two freaking crab traps out here. These are actually legit. They're a little worn. These could be salvaged though, I feel like. This, this right here, this is freaking classic. I might have to take this. This is total insanity. Look at these freaking docks that are just abandoned right here. No way. Holy shit. This is a beautiful dock. This is insane that this stuff gets washed here. Look at this. Could you imagine the expense to build this? Build those. Just washed up on the, on the, look at this. Massive freaking barge. No way. This is so cool out here. There's an umbrella. So you can see they planted trees here to do their best for the corrosion, but you can see it's taking it away pretty quickly, honestly. Cause that's like what? Three feet? Ew! Let's do this, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna cruise around the tip of this island and check out the abandoned barges and all the stuff that's over there. Pretty rad. This is crazy. Look at this. I can't believe they left all this stuff here. This is unreal. What do they got going on up here? What does this say? Is this advertising? What is this? Ocean City Oyster Company. Oh, okay. So they own all this? How is that even, how is that even true? Oh, I guess you could take claim of it. Okay, I don't know. Maybe they have really good oysters. They probably farm them out here. It looks like this is all the equipment for it. That's pretty rad, actually. It, this is a thick metal sign. They cut that out of, maybe that was on the building first and then on here second. It's so eerie, yet so cool. That's what's crazy. Oh, maybe that's what all the docks are. Maybe it's the barges for the company, I guess. No idea. That's crazy, though. Right, here's what we're gonna do since I lost my camo hat 
when I was on the boat, I figured it was time to give one away as well. I gave that one to the bay, but I'm gonna give one of these hats to somebody watching this video. So literally, these are just the new blue hats. Freedom to dream. Blue with a green brim underneath. So all you have to do is literally just leave a comment on this video and you're entered to win the hat. It'll be generated from the comment, so please leave a comment. You know, you could leave anything. The comment I would leave though is, how could they leave all that metal? Question mark. But imagine all this in scrap. This is bizarre. Absolutely literal death. Like that was the most unsafe thing I've done in years. And just because I thought that it, it felt like it was sturdy that I could walk all over it. But then I got preoccupied with the boat and I wasn't testing every step like I did in the beginning. And I fell all the way through the fucking barge. So two two times on the boat too foul i might as well just pack it in and go home now so you could just imagine right how brittle the steel is after sitting here for so long right but you can see that it's falling off of there and i almost just really got cut bad good thing i got my tetanus though Just imagine climbing the ladder. Wait a second, is this the top of a cannon? Like a freaking tank engine? No, <laughs> but that looks like it. Like I could, in my mind, I could imagine the rest of the tank under the water. Heading home, super successful. Second mission, huge success. <laughs> I just want to lay in the same, get no same. And pontificate on life. <laughs> we vibe in under the city lights. Whatever the wind go take us. Check out these videos too if you want to see some more content. All you got to do is click on them. They should be right next to my head on both sides. This one is the one where uh, we first got the original boat and me and Sammy took it out.